Crossing came out uh, about a month ago. It was showcased at Movie Fest first, but uh, I wasn't able to make the day that it was playing. And I kind of wish I did because it's a very good movie. And the crazy part about it is that when it was shown in UK cinemas on release day, it was only shown for that one day and that was it. Which is such a shame because I, I think that this was definitely overshadowed by Twisters and all the big blockbuster films coming out at that time. And I believe this is like one of the most important and best films of the year so far. And to be overshadowed by a film like Twisters is kind of annoying. And it's a shame that it was only in cinemas for one day because I wish a lot more people got to see this. It's such a beautiful and thought-provoking experience. I walked out of this and I I was very happy because it went the direction that I I'm glad it did. It didn't it didn't make it cliche. It didn't feel cliche. It stuck to its gut of how the story is. It's a very melancholy story about an auntie who's trying to find her niece, and it's not like it's not action-packed it's not gonna be this fucking beautiful action-packed blockbuster hit it's not that it's very minimalistic acting which is some of my favorite acting um there's a lot of films that have this past life has this past lives acting is very minimalistic it's very human it very it feels very human there's no over-the-top acting there's no under acting it's it's beautifully simply acted it's there's no there's nothing the direction is perfect i've never seen any of the other directors movies and this makes me want to see the other movies um one of the main characters in the film is the the auntie and the auntie gives such a a real good performance in this because while she's also looking for her niece, she's also like, she's like battling her like age. She's like, she wants to be young again. She talks about how much of, how much she loves dancing and how uh, she was like um, a star when she was younger, how she was popular in school and stuff. And I thought it was really well acted from her part another good part is the the kid in it i think he i've never seen him in anything before but he looks very familiar and he gives off a real good performance here it's very he gives off a real strong performance he's almost like he's lost and these two come together the auntie and the kid and they almost become family throughout the film like he has like his own Uh, not issues but like battles he's having like deep down he still wants to be he he hasn't really experienced like parties or anything and stuff like that so throughout the film you see him battling like how he wants to make new friends and stuff and how he just wants to find a job because at the very start of the film there's a lot of stuff about how he's unemployed and how he's struggling to find some money and throughout the film he's dealing with that and these two main characters have their own personal battles and when they almost bubble up to the point where they're about to explode it's very it's a very nice payoff acting wise it's not punch in the wall marriage story vibes it's very personal and real there's no overacting there's it's that's why it, that's what makes it so perfect there's it's a very personal film probably to even to act, the actors and i think one of my favorite um aspects of this film is how it involves the transgender community i think it's very beautiful i've never seen like photos or videos of Istanbul before but honestly it looks like beautifully chaotic city it's it's a very the cinematography and the way it shows off Istanbul is amazing there's certain shots that are just like jaw dropping and i think the director and cinematographer have like nailed that aspect it's very i get minari vibes quite a lot from this film um 
but in a good way. And I think it's just a really beautiful, well-rounded, created movie that I think needs more attention. I think more people need to see this film. I think it's just, it's a real shame that it was only in cinemas for one day. I definitely think it should be more popular than it is. And I highly suggest everyone should watch this film because it's one of my favorites that have came out this year. It's It was such a, a real experience in the cinema as well. I think everyone, everyone who was watching it wanted to watch it. So there was, it was just like a real beautiful experience on the screen. And we'll, we'll, I'm going to go over like a brief spoiler free ending talk. So the ending is very open ended, I guess, but in a good way. Um, it's not, it, it's a story that sort of just starts and never really ends, which I, fu- I love that sort of stuff. And I'm, I'm very thankful of how the story went near the end. And I really enjoyed the ending from like uh, character story arcs to the overall plot. I thought it was beautiful. Overall, this is just like a must watch from my point of view. I don't. I think it shouldn't be so overshadowed by all these blockbuster films. Like, come on, Deadpool and Wolverine. Eh, come on, Crossing is like beautiful. There's that's the best way I can describe it. It was like one of the most beautiful films I think I've ever watched. It's along the lines with Minari. It's that good. So yeah, that's about it. Bye.